Hello. Uh, sorry I've been gone for a while. I uh, Lots of things going on in life, like we all have from time to time. I wanted to make a video today uh, about something I've spent a lot of time over the years thinking about and kind of testing out different things. And I had a few different philosophies and a few different products that I wanted to show you and how they could make your safety and security better um, in different environments. So uh, a lot of places you go, you're not supposed to carry firearms, you're not supposed to carry knives, um, things that are obvious weapons. So in those cases, uh, I mean, you don't want to be unarmed in case, you know, somebody wants to force their will on you or rob you, whatever scenario you can come up with. And uh, a lot of people don't understand there's a lot of different things that can be a weapon. From one, you can craft weapons from your environment. And that I'll make in another video. Um, but things that are ready-made uh, would be, for example, cold steel. Now, I'm sorry, this is probably backwards when you see it. They make a product. It's called the Pocket Shark. Now, this is a permanent marker. It works as a permanent marker. It's got a lot of threads to it, so it's not going to come off. But yeah, it, it writes. Um, if you go through security checkpoint, whatever, this is a writing marker. You put the top back on, screw it in. You hold this in your hand. This is very thick plastic. You hold this in your hand. Now it's a kubaton, meaning that if I strike into weak points of your body, here, 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 pressure points, you know, different places. This is very effective. Uh, this don't no laugh. You know what I mean? This seems like oh, it's it's a marker. What's that going to do? Well, I'll tell you, it it can enforce. It, it can multiply the force that you can do real quick. Uh, another item. This is a pen. It writes. Regular pen takes right in the rain or some sort of refills. Can't exactly remember. It's made out of aluminum or steel. This particular one, and you can get thousands of different ones if you look up. Just Google it. This one is Smith & Wesson. Um, this one's a little bit more, says a little bit more, I might be a weapon. There is some that are little more discreet. This has a pointy tip to it. A little beat up. That that tip hit in soft parts of the body. Um, this thing will do hell of damage. This is no freaking joke. If, if somebody's attacking you, I guarantee you, if you have this in your hand as a striking implement, hammer fist, and you hit them a few times, they're going to know that something just happened to them. So, pens. Specifically pens that are made heavy duty to be used in a defensive role, but preferably look the most inconspicuous as possible. Next is an actual Kubaton. Now, here's just one that I brought out to show. This is 100% plastic. This is made by Cold Steel. I don't get sponsored by them, but <clears throat> some people like to, to know where they might be able to find an item. It's not sharp. It's blunt. But you put this in your hand, and now you have a striking surface on the bottom for a hammer fist, and you have a striker surface up here to come up into the rib cage or 
wherever you decide to to hit this I mean you could carry this on you it's a piece of plastic <clears throat> you would have to check with your state's local laws and yada yada but most places a piece of plastic with some you know gnarling to it not considered a dangerous weapon but it will get you out of some situations something as simple as this this is a straw it's a metal drinking straw nothing looks out of the ordinary about this um, in fact I, I discovered a new a new thing when I was at the mall uh, last year and they have these these teas that have these little balls in them and that stuff is awesome but uh, they use these straws a lot because you can suck those little ball things up into it and uh, so this is inconspicuous I mean I can carry this I could have it in my backpack I could have it in a handbag or whatever to to drink my teas or whatever with but also I tell you what this thing in the same situation uh, it's metal so I mean blunt strikes uh, that's no joke you know versus just using your hands this is going to be a false force multiplier um, and it's ready-made you know and it's inconspicuous you're a woman you could have this in your purse nobody's you know if you had to go through a security thing or whatever and they wanted you they're not going to think crap of a, a metal straw being in there but it gives you a little peace of mind and a little force multiplier if somebody decides to try to harm you or your children or your family um and if they only have you know they have their fist or or you know this this will help you and and, and as far as i know you can buy these at like most of the gas stations for fairly cheap. Um, <laughs> while we're on straws, here's one that I use quite frequently. This straw, they tell you that took it to a next level. It is actually angled at the end. That angle adds more of a, a focus on whatever object you're hitting, creates more pain. It's angled at the tip so my thumb can fit right here I can lock on and be able to strike this particular one and you don't have to get this fancy or whatever but I'm just kind of a uh, connoisseur of these sorts of things I guess but this one is titanium so this will go through a metal detector it won't be detected it it's a straw, you know, in its basic form, it's a straw. I drink with it. I drink my water, tea, coffee, things like that out of this. But it is also a hell of a force multiplier. Um, trust me, you, you would not want to get struck by this repeatedly in soft targets on your body. Uh, also, there's another little thing. Uh, this one's actually made by the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. And what it is, is it's marketed as an ice scraper. It's all plastic, um, fits in your pocket, whatnot. But this can go into your finger. It has the surface here and it's not sharp like where it would cut your fingers, but it's got a little blunt edge to it. And it's made for scrape, scraping ice off your windows. And, you know, if, if you get into a situation, I guess you could use this as a defensive tool uh, to protect yourself. It's plastic, so being an ice scraper, it'll go through security, you know, it'll go through metal detectors you know why shouldn't an ice scraper go through a metal detector um just a little thought for the day of, and there's many different things you can think of and there's a few different things I, i'm going to make a video for of things you can just find that or you could go to your local hardware store 
simple things, um, especially if you're in a place where completely gun free zone, um, completely can't carry knives. These things, you know, different things like this will help you tremendously for self defense. And now I'm not saying, and I'm not endorsing anybody use any of these things to harm anybody. But if you get into a situation where you need to defend your family, your friends, your children, um, then yeah, the, the, these could do that and help you very well. Um, there, there's a, a myriad of different things. Look it up, look it up when you get a chance. You know, This is just to kind of help spark your mind to think outside the box. Um, You, you, uh, if you use titanium, I will let you know if you get something titanium, most of the time it's, it's not going to set off metal detectors or metal security checkpoints. Um, plastic obviously is not either. Uh, but just, just the mindset, keep your mindset. Uh, this world, you know, today things are just getting, getting more and more crazy and, I'm not saying be paranoid, be scared of everything, but being prepared helps take that that little fear off your mind because you know if particular situations happen to you, you already have a plan, you already have thought out ways to stack the deck in your favor. Um, I guess that's that's what I wanted to say today. Hopefully, I can get some more videos going um, this week. And I appreciate everybody who, who watches me, and I hope I help people uh, to think outside the box, um, learn a few little skills maybe you didn't think of, and stay dangerous, my friends.